Welcome back. I'm the Watch Nerd. I'm so excited to be back here on the channel with you guys because I haven't been uh, uploading for about a month now. And uh, I didn't want to, I, I wanted to step back because I wasn't getting very consistent with my videos. Uh, there was a lot of different subjects and I want to get very precise. I want to go in a direction where our channel can grow and it has been growing. I do love all the positive comments I've uh, gotten since I've been off for a bit and our subscriber count is growing. I do have the Chanel chain giveaway. It is still there. Um, I'll show it at the end of the video, but we're still doing that as soon as we hit 1000. So if you want to be entered, there's the four steps below. But back to really where I was getting at, I took a step back this month thinking about where our channel is going to go. I think we're going to have fun videos like today. Today we're going into a Tudor um, GMT and I put that in quotes because maybe it's not as real as everybody thinks it is. It's a kind of a fun video today and just announcing that I'm coming back on. We're going to do a lot of shorts, some really cool vintage Rolex we'll get into. Um, a lot of Rolex on this channel, but of course I will do other uh, subjects. At least once a week, I want to go into other things. So if you're interested in that, I do recommend subscribing because we're going to get into some really cool stuff. Without further ado, let's hop in to the Tudor part of this video. So jumping right into it, um, this is how it came. Now, uh, it came, of course, of uh, wrapping paper and just, of course, the package number uh, from my house, but I didn't want to show that. This is the box it came in. And I said, what is this? Because I ordered it so long ago, I forgot I even bought this watch. I did it just for a YouTube video. This is nothing I'm going to wear. Of course, I am the watch nerd um, and my whole you know, purpose of this channel is to not support criminals and fakes. Um, and there's nothing worse than a fake. I would rather somebody go buy uh, MVMT and I've made very, many videos on movement and how horrible uh, they are, but nobody is as bad as criminals. I never thought I would make a fake video, but this one was so affordable. It was so cheap just to show you the crappy quality and you'll pretty much get this with any fake. Um, in, in the box. So let's first open it. And I also will have a comparison later on um, in the video, but this is just an unboxing. I'll go into it a little further. Maybe I'll wear it uh, for a day um, and just to see, but this is what it is. So I saw it, I immediately put it back in the package as soon as I saw what it was. Of course, it's all stickered up. I have not worn it. I have not tried it out. I don't even know if it's working. As you can see here, I've tried moving the crown. It is, of course, there's a little battery keeper so we just pop that out let's see if it works uh for our money and it seems not to work okay so i could not have planned this better but the watch does not work at all i got scammed and that's the end of the video no joking aside what i cannot believe it the i guess the battery was out but let's see if the hands move. Hands do not move on the watch, wait. Let's see the first setting. The date's moving. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the hands are not moving. Um, oh, we got a little movement. Hold on. Maybe I have to, oh, oh. Something's happening. I promise you I did not play in this. Uh, something's definitely wrong with the watch. Of course, there's something wrong with the watch. It's a fake, but I don't know why. I don't know what is happening here. That is kind of crazy. Oh, it seems to not click into place. Uh, maybe the stem. This is hilarious, dude. This just shows me right not to buy a fake ever, um, ever at all. Look how cheap this thing is. I didn't even take the plastic off. I was gonna make a separate video of me actually wearing it, but I actually cannot wear it because it does not tick. The bezel actually doesn't sound too bad, but that's not how an actual bezel looks, of course, from Tudor. Um, and the case material doesn't seem too bad. It looks like stainless steel. I, I'm, I'm in shock. I don't wanna make this too long of a video because this is just a fun one of me getting back, but it does not work. So welcome back. Uh, I did not want to tell you how much time it took me to get to this point, but the time will not go back past uh, 10, oh, well, 9.30 here. Um, so 
I really can't do much. Uh, I can keep the crown out. And of course, this is on the last setting. This is very, very easy to move, but nothing is happening. This is extremely easy to do in a watch. I wanna um, give an example here. So I pay 33 bucks for this. I recommend maybe to pay nothing for it and they pay you because this is one of the worst watches. It's The bracelet is horrible construction. One of the worst construction ever. Uh, the back, it had a sticker. I did do that off camera. I know a lot of watch people like it. Um, and just, it's it's trying to be a fake, but it's so bad that it fails miserably. Look at the second hand. I think that is a Mecha Quartz. I'm pretty sure. Um, but it doesn't even matter. The only thing that works probably is that date window. I don't... Four, five, what is today? I don't even know. Uh, this, this is actually the 16th on here. Um, I believe today is the 4th, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll go to the 4th. Um, there we go. And I mean, that centers pretty well. It's not horrible. Uh, but you know what? You, you, I don't even want to get into the details of it, of how disgusting it is. You can perfectly tell the bracelet, you know, it actually clumps up in certain areas. Not a recommended piece, but for a little less money, yes, I did get a good deal. And you all will say this will actually have a full review, not this. You can buy one of these. Now, this is an interesting watch because I normally do very expensive watches like a real Rolex, not even, you know, uh, and real Tudor. I haven't done a, a, well, I've done a Tudor before, but not a modern one. I will get to the real version of this watch, of course. It's not actually gilt and all that, but it is loomed. Uh, and, you know, I'm, I don't even know why I'm getting Pacifics. This is much better. Now, the the case diameter and the iconic status of the Black Bay is not there. The, of well, but you're also not getting a fake. It, it depends on the customer, but a real watch person would buy something like this. It's a smaller piece, 35, 36 millimeters. Um, a cool day-day complication in-house, of course. This is the Orient Three Star Great History. Now, I want you to guess how much I paid for this watch and uh, I already told you what I paid for this watch, about 33 bucks. But uh, if you do put a timestamp down and guess how much I paid for this. Uh, I hope you already did that because I will tell you, I paid 25 bucks for this watch brand new. You might say the watch nerd, well, you have connections, you know, you make YouTube videos. No, I got it like everybody else. It was actually a sale at a retailer. They had no clue that I make YouTube videos. They have no clue what I do. So I was like a regular person. I saw it on the shelf, uh, brand new. I bought it for $25. You cannot make that up. Gorgeous, talk about guilt. It has a you know gold tone dial. The hands are gold tone. It is luminous. Uh, this one, you will never see. I don't wanna say you'll never see another replica on this channel. Uh, it's a fake, of course. Uh, anybody who wears this, I feel very sorry for you. Uh, honestly, I do, because this is a disgrace. I really, really hope um, and pray that this is not your only watch experience if you are a watch person. And uh, I hope nobody ever fooled you with a piece like this because you definitely need to do more research. As I'm doing it, look at that bracelet. I'm applying pressure and it's not there, it moves. But this is horrible. When the metal meshes up, it binds up. I think it's hollow. Um, it might not even be steel, but I think it is steel. It's just, it's not a good situation all around. Um, but I do think that if it did work, I would say, wow, that is incredible 30 bucks. But at the same time, I also do not you know, support fakes. Why buy this for 30 bucks when you can get a real genuine watch, in-house movement, you're not wearing a fake, you're not making yourself think you're something you're not, right? Um, and you know it's from a good company for $25. That was before tax, but still, it's unbelievable. You would be, you would still be under this amount, um, of course. I think this was 37 bucks with tax or so, so maybe 33, as I said before. I, I, I forgot, I gotta go check. I deleted, uh, it was from Wish. So whatever you buy on there, just make sure it's, it's fake, just so you know. Um, and don't ever buy on there. So I don't even know what why I said whatever you buy on there. Just don't. Uh, it's not worth it. 
Of course, you can spend the $30 on this or even save up and maybe get a Seiko or something like that. Uh, but this is a great comparison. I really wanted to put these two against each other because I bought this originally and I completely forgot about it. Then I eventually bought this one. And I was excited for this one because this one is probably one of the best value pieces, especially at 25 bucks. Very few people will sell it to you at $25, but you go to thrift stores, you hunt around, eBay might have them for a bit more. I think it's even a buy up to $50. Uh, and when you're getting into the $100 range, I think there's other options, but this is pretty amazing. You got a, uh, I'll do a full actually review, but solid case back, full stainless steel construction. You actually have a separate button for the date window. Of course, you have day, uh, day date. So the date would be through the crown. No hacking on it, no hand wine, but it is still incredible for an automatic movement for 25 dollars incredible this is not automatic um i don't i think believe it's mecha quartz i think that's what it is that's where they're going at i cannot believe it doesn't work i mean that's the only thing it had to do um so we'll see i don't know if i'll wear it on the fake time or you know on the other time we'll see but i highly doubt i'll do another video on it and comment down below do you want to see videos like this i'm after this experience, I really don't want to do any more videos on this. Uh, and I especially want to stay back uh, with true, real watches. I want to thank you all for watching. If you do want the Chanel chain giveaway, I'm really pissed about this still. Don't worry. Uh, you know, I, I did not plan it to be, you know, fake. You saw it in the box. I didn't even open it. I actually took out... Um, the uh, battery saver thing so uh, if you do want the chanel chain giveaway though the four steps are in the description below and i will definitely catch you in the next one i hope you have a fantastic day